in our community now, right, we know COVID-19 is hitting now. And we know people are losing their jobs. And we know that there are these kind of things that are happening at the moment. We need to seriously think about how much of an impact is this going to have on those people in our community who are the vulnerable people in our community. You know, they, they, they were doing a survey or something and they said they found because of isolation, the, the number of domestic violence rates increased. Yeah, the number of parents, subhanAllah, imagine this, people back home, back home, they think we live in a luxurious lifestyle and everyone's rich and everyone's got enough money to send back home. And they don't realize that there are mothers and fathers here who can't just about afford to put food on the table for their children in the half-term holidays. Now imagine that, that just sounds so strange to any of us. But it's the reality, I mean, people sitting here who probably just kind of like trying to work out, if I buy shopping for this week, how much am I going to have left for next week? Am I going to be able to get another job? Am I going to be able to get another? These are serious problems that we have in our own community. And it's, if it's not for me and you who are going to stand up and start to try and do something, then who is going to do it at the end of the day? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, when he mentions about the true believers, Allah says that five qualities he mentions about the true believers in the beginning of Surah, Surah Baqarah. He says, those who believe in the unseen. الصلات, and those who are continuously working hard to establish prayer. And they spend from their wealth, they have a certain amount that they've allotted to spending in the needs of the community. And those who believe that Allah's message hasn't just been for Islam, it's been for all the other previous religions as well. And they have certainty that one day they will die. One day me and you are going to die. Yeah. You know, subhanAllah. I was just going through my, last week, going through my, my Facebook uh, feed. And nearly every third or fourth post, there was a janazah announcement. Or there was someone saying, someone extremely critical in the hospital, make dua for them. And if you look, if I look last year at my post, you, I wouldn't see this. But really in a week, I'd probably see one case of someone passing away who I know. But now it's like every other post is either somewhat extremely b bad in hospital or dying or has died. SubhanAllah. And just yesterday, one of my teachers in Pakistan, he also died of COVID. Yeah, may Allah give him Jannat al-Firdaus. And Jannat al-Firdaus to all those who have pass passed away and give sabr to those who have been left behind. But this is the reality, my respected brothers. Yeah, wallahi, we can stand here, we can talk all about the nice things about the past glory of the Muslims and we can, you know, make ourselves feel satisfied about how Salahuddin Ayyubi did this and everyone did this, but then if we're not doing anything in our community for today, if we don't have that iota of concern for the next door neighbor or for our street or for the youngsters on our roads, you know, wallahi, I don't know where our concern should be then. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to be able to understand, appreciate uh, being a Muslim, having faith, having Islam. And also, as I mentioned in the beginning of the talk, wallahi, 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 brothers, never compromise you being a Muslim. Never ever, even if it means that you're going to lose 10 pounds, 100 pounds, 1,000 pounds in a business contract, just because you stand up for the values of Islam, Allah is going to give you better than that later on in your life. You will see Allah never lets down a believer when, he's, when, when he sees he's doing it for Allah's cause. Allah never lets that person down. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also uh, allow us to be able to uh, get through these difficult times with sabr jameel. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala khayri khalqihi Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.